little brother's gotta have a fantasy. So now you're just fucking with me, you're trying to get me lynched. <laughs> I won't lynch you. Not if you do it right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that might have to get edited, okay? <laughs> okay, let's start over. <laughs> Her brother. They both had like boxer shorts and white t shirts that looked like they were spattered with blood. So I was like, ew, ew. Halloween? No. No. I didn't even want to know. I don't want to know why you're there with your brother. I don't know. I don't want to know. So she comes up. It was a topless club. And our first song, you know, we stayed closed. The second song, you took your dress off, you were topless. So she comes up to hit me on my first song and she's like, I'm so scared for you. I'm like, why? In this business, it's, it's so dangerous. I'm so afraid for you. I'm so, she just kept going, I'm so afraid for you, over and over. I'm like, oh, okay, crazy lady. And uh, the song changed at that point, so I stepped back and I went to take my dress off. She's like, oh my God, what are you doing? I'm like, you're in a strip club, right? Do you not know where you are? Right. So afterwards, I kind of went away and was sitting at the bar, and it was pretty dead. So the bouncer comes over, he was like, like the couple over there would like to get a dance from me. I'm like, oh, the crazy, the crazy Osmonds one. over there, really? I'm like, fuck. I'm like, all right, it's dead in here. I've made shit for money, so fine. So I go back to dance for her with her brother. And as she's going, I'm so scared for you. You know, the people that, that come into this place, they, they're going to take advantage of you. As she's saying this, she's sliding down in her chair, going like that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you are the people that you should be scared of. I'm like, put your tongue back in your mouth and get the Jesus. fuck out of my club. I don't know. They must have been on something. The They're drunk. just like totally crazy. I don't even know. Jesus, man. <sighs> well, there was the guy in Portland who my friend had talked to him first, and she had already told me that he's like, Oh, he like, saw me on stage and recognized me. He's like, oh my god, I've seen her movies and blah, blah, blah. That's it. She's like, yeah, that's her, you know, blah, 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 whatever. So she gets up. She's like, yeah, I guess he's a fan or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I go over and sit and talk to him. And he's all, oh, your friend came over and told me all about your porn. And, you know, and he's acting like, like I don't watch that stuff. Like, what is this porn she speaks of? And I'm like, you're such a liar. I'm like, just admit that you know who I am and that you've watched my movies. And I'm like, I already know that my friend's not just going to walk up to a random person and go, hi, by the way, my friend does porn. And I'm like, she's not going to do that. And she's already told me this story. <laughs> and I'm like, I already know. Well, it's you're, okay. You're in Portland, Oregon, though, so, you know. <laughs> You're in the, you're like the armpit of the country, so whatever. I actually loved Portland a lot. I just did not care for the clubs there. I had to call the cops on one of the clubs there. Yeah. My friend got all of her money stolen by one of the girls. One of the other girls who was just like cracked out of her mind punched me in the face for no reason whatsoever. And right. then the bouncers held me back from punching her back. The bouncer came down to the dressing room and were like, fuck you all, we're out of here came down the dressing room, which is down in the basement, as we're getting ready, and he's, like, screaming in my friend's face. And I just, like, take my taser out and just kind of put it on the ground next to me and stared like, at him. Don't fuck with and me. And then he walked out. And as we were walking out, which I didn't know until we were already out and done, he had slammed the door and broke my friend's finger. Yeah. Oh, man. So I called the cops on them. And then he tried to get me in trouble with the cops, so they went and talked to him and came back, and they're like... Oh, he says that, you know, you have a taser on you, and I'm like, yes. And I'm like, I don't take it anywhere. Like, I research the laws before I take any some weapons states, some anywhere. States you can't have them, yeah, right, some states right. you can't have, right. you know, certain things. And I'm like, statute 41 dash blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't remember it now. And I, you know, I keep a copy of it in my purse oh. because not every cop knows every law. And then I'm like, says that as long as I'm over 18, have no felony convictions, and don't use it against a police officer, I'm allowed to have it in the state of Oregon, in the city of Portland. He's like, you're absolutely right. <laughs> More stories. Well, that was good.